And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, let's start off talking with those winter weather advisories because there has been a little bit of a shift since yesterday. Now, yesterday we were seeing an advisory pretty much everywhere in this region, and Idaho Falls was included in that. But since then, that has been backed off, but one has been added to Pocatello, and this is for 2 to 6 inches until 5 p.m. Saturday. So expect to see the snow continue through tonight into tomorrow. But that's not the only thing we're taking a look at. We also have a winter weather warning as we head over towards the border of Idaho and all the way down through Soda Springs, all the way down through Malad City and kind of around the I-15 corridor, but not including it. And of course, that is for 6 to 12 inches. So those peaks of the mountains are getting even worse. And even though the central mountains have started to back off on the snow, it's gotten a little bit better for that. In that case, they're still under that avalanche warning, especially in the areas on the west side. And you're going to see that until 7.30 a.m. tomorrow, you're going to continue to see this av avalanche warning in place. But I wouldn't be surprised if you see that extended. We did see a lot of heavy snowfall in those areas. We're seeing some wind move through still, so it is going to be still be avalanche prone areas. So even if that avalanche warning gets called off, if you're thinking it's a good idea to go out there, I would advise against it because it is going to be another windy day moving through this weekend. So it's, it is definitely going to be a dangerous area snow wise. Looking at the storm tracker, we're already seeing that band of snow that I showed you yesterday stick in in that southeast corner. You can tell it right there. It's been there for the last couple of hours and we've been seeing on and off snow in Pocatello because you can tell we are right on the edge, including Idaho Falls, which once again, they're going to start to move out of that snow range. We're going to see it continuing in Pocatello tomorrow, but Idaho Falls is going to be a little bit calmer and we're seeing this from that stationary system that is still rotating over near the Pacific, uh, the Pacific area. It's going to continue to rotate, bringing more snow up from the south through Nevada and it's going to continue to see that snow through until around Monday. While it will weaken off for the weekend, we are going to continue to see that on and off snow moving forward. Future tracker for tomorrow, seeing that stationary band continue. And while Idaho Falls sees a little bit in the early half of the day, the worst of it is going to be in that corner, and it does continue to stick around there for pretty much the next 24 hours. And while it does start to weaken after that, it is going to continue to put out some snow moving forward to as far as close to Monday. As for tonight, that snow does continue in the Snake River Plain. Temperatures dropping back down to those 20s. Center Mountains are calm and cold, but 14 in Chalice. So still seeing those temperatures well down there, even though the snow has moved out. And then finally, the Highlands in Western Wyoming. Heavier snow, 16 in Island Park. It's definitely the worst in the Highlands. And that snow is sticking around as well with 32 in Island Park for tomorrow. So not even getting above freezing in some areas for the Highlands in Western Wyoming. And now as we hit what we're going to see in the Central Mountains, a little bit of snow makes its return, but for the most part, it's not near nearly as strong as that band moving through 35 in Chalice. And then finally for the Snake River Plain, that snow does persist 36 in Pocatello on that seven day. I'll we'll show you a very similar story. We're seeing a lot of those temperatures stick lower. And of course, that snow sticks around until Monday with a little bit of wind moving through. That's why I wanted to draw attention to that avalanche, even though it's going to be done by tomorrow morning. Idaho Falls very similar, sticking around till Monday, but this is a much weaker chance. It's closer to those 40, 50 percent, a little bit more scattered, but still going to stick around for the next three days. A lot of those temperatures getting close to those single digits at night, too, so it is going to be pretty rough for those colder temperatures. Teton area, uh, seen a little bit at the end of the week too, but for this system moving through Saturday through Monday, they're gonna see the worst of it, but about the same amount of time. So sticking around for scattered snow on Monday. Then finally for that Central Mountains, very similar, but they're seeing it wane off right now. Saturday sees a little bit clearer, a little bit more scattered, a little bit more on Sunday, but definitely the weakest out of all three areas. And we're going to continue to see that moving into next week as well. Now, uh, we talked about that precipitation yesterday, but true or false, Pocatello's average temperature last month was below average. True or false, we'll have the answer coming up later.